Bruce. Yeah. There's eight thousand dollars running on this, and his son. Your time. Woo! Welcome to Hot Lap, where we tell your favorite YouTube stars to get off of your screen and into our car, where they're gonna try to lay down their fastest lap time. All in hopes to top the Hot Lap leaderboard. You may know today's guest from his work on K Rock, Attack of the Show, Inside Gaming, and currently on Funhouse, where he plays video games with his buddies for a living somehow. That's right, we're talking about Bruce Green. You know, I wish I could work with people I like, James. I honestly don't care about your wishes, Bart. I'm your host, James Pumphrey, and I'm your host, Bart Biddlingmeyer. And, and this, this is Hot Lab. So, Bruce. Yes. What was your favorite video game as a kid. I think it was probably Goldeneye. I don't know if you remember Classic. Goldeneye. No, I can't forget Goldeneye. Yeah, Goldeneye was really, really fun. It was and like the first big multiplayer friends. game that you could do, everybody get in. Yeah, no, it was great. You'd scream at your friends, and one of them was always odd job, the shorter one, right? So. And you'd always miss him. Yeah, no, I know, no, you always miss him, it was too short. So, along that thing, what do you think is the biggest change that's happened to gaming probably in the last decade? I would say it was the fact that everything's going live. Everybody's okay. streaming themselves playing video games. And that's probably the biggest change for video games. So where do you see gaming going from here? Like, what is the next big step? Um, the next big step in games is everybody's going to be playing live with their friends as they watch and everyone's gonna be interacting. People can vote on what you do and like they can change the state of the game. For example, if you're playing Zelda on Twitch and they vote that you get a new item, the yeah. game will give you the item. Really cool. So you've got a wide viewer base. What's some of your advice for the kids who watch you? The best advice, find something you're passionate about mm -hmm. and then do that consistently. Look at it as a second job. Basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna upload videos every single day about you playing a game or you talking about makeup or whatever else. And if and you're passionate about it, people will notice. Then there's a thing. Yeah, you'll get, you'll get an audience. Awesome. How is this van not flipped yet? Well, hey, you know Cody knows what he's me. doing. Thanks, Bruce. Of course, anytime, anytime. Can we do it again? <laughs> All right, what do you drive? Uh, I drive I drive a Dodge Demon. It is a beast. Yeah. It's a beast. What about you? What do you do? My wife and I just got a Ford Fusion. Buying that, I had the moment of like, yeah, I guess I'm a responsible adult now. Well, Bart, after seeing Bruce's stone-faced composure in that van, I feel pretty good about this gaming guru's grip on gears. But before we let him get on the track on his own, we're gonna get him up to speed. Ah! with the skill, skill of, of the, the day. day. It sounds counterintuitive, but if you're new to track driving, it's actually faster to enter a corner more slowly. I know you wanna charge right into those turns and get the best lap time, but going in too fast will only end in frustration. You'll get understeer or oversteer and blow right past your apex. As you approach a corner, brake hard in a straight line and get slowed down before you start turning. Slowly ease off the brake pedal and then turn the wheel. In the middle of the corner, when you have a lot of steering input, your foot should be hovering over or just touching the gas pedal. Think of an imaginary string between the bottom of the steering wheel and your right foot. The more you do with one, the less you do with the other. As you start to unwind the steering wheel, you can start giving it a little gas. And by the time the steering wheel is pointed straight ahead, your foot should be on the floor. To see the skill of the day in action, slow in, fast out. To see I say let's check in with. But uh, instead of saying. Let's check in with our professional driver, Odie Bakchis. Thank you guys. Kind of launch it. Okay. The scariest part is having Odie drive you. We're gonna hit rev limiter here. There's no speed limit. There's no reckless driving you have to worry about. You can really push it to the limit. Am I gonna flip this car? No, stay on the track and you'll be fine. You could get as wild as you can in the car and really feel out the limit of the car safely. Full throttle, going as fast as you can. The one thing I'm noticing about what I'm gonna try and do is ride the edge, but I'm worried that I'm just gonna go off the track. Yeah. How do I avoid that? You'll be fine. I don't know if I was a good student or not. I gotta ask Odie. I think Bruce's biggest strength is that he feels comfortable behind the wheel and the way he shifts, He's just eager to go fast. Let's hit the track, let's go, come on. I wasn't sure if I should walk. It all comes down to this part, the training, the preparation. It all means nothing 
if he can't perform now. Bodie was a little worried, James, that he was going to be going into this almost too confident. Yeah, Bart, but from here it seems like that confidence was warranted, which is a good thing because I bet $8,000 that Bruce would win, and I'm currently in a very greasy custody battle. We're all pulling for you, James, but we're tired of hearing about it. Jessica, he's not even yours. He works at Donut. Let him come home to daddy. I know, I know there's $8,000 riding on this. There's $8,000 riding on this. And his son. Mother I gotta get his son back. Now to go to our movement watches race countdown. Three, two, one, and he's off! Bad start. Come on, baby. He's fast around turn one. Bad start, but not a bad turn. Nice apex around turn two. Comes out to the outside to use the whole track. Looks very quick through turn three. Oh, baby! Slow into turn four. But he's coming out fast. Oh, no, no, no! Oh. Slow into turn five. But he's coming out fast. Ah! That's our skill of the day! Let me tell you, Bart, I have a gut feeling about these kind of things, and it looks like Bruce's lap might be shaping up to be one of the fastest we've ever had. I can pick it up right here. Pushing hard through the skid pad, around the last turn, into the final straight. Can he do it? Can he close? the one, and across yeah. the finish line. Wow. I am going to have a heart attack. Oh, man. I hope that was good enough. It looked really good from here in the studio, but to see if it was enough to take home that beautiful gift card, let's get down to the track for our Tic Tac post lap interview. Bruce, let's get you out of this car. That was a great lap from okay, what I right. saw of it. All right. Let me know how you're feeling. You think it's hot enough to be the hot lap? I think that was the fastest I went today, but I was really worried. There was one turn in there that it just I just did not pull off. All right, well, here comes your coach for the day, Odie. Yeah, yeah, Good yeah. job, man. Thank you, Odie. Odie seems happy enough. Ooh. Let's head over to James at the hot lap leaderboard, and we're going to see if that was enough to get him the Applebee's card. Thanks, Bart. It certainly was a hot lap, but was it hot enough? to climb the ranks of our Applebee's leaderboard and take home that beautiful, beautiful Applebee's gift card. You can get a lot of ribs for 500 bucks. Bruce, Yeah. a lot of your experience does come from the virtual world being a gamer. That's true. The time to beat is 115.95. Your time, Bruce. Uh-huh. 115 point no, no. 0.78! Oh, we yeah, have the new hot lap yeah, champion! We have the new hot lap champion! Oh, you just I laid down the hottest lap! Yeah, you get it out! I get the five. You get the top the leaderboard! The gift card! You get the $500 gift card! Let's get up here! Get that Applebee's gift card! Cortana! Ah! Yes! What wow. an amazing day for Bruce, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> motorsport, and competition in general. This one was especially important to me because I have $8,000 riding on it and I'm trying to get my son back. Until next time, I'm James Pumphrey. I'm Bart Midlingmeyer. And this is, is Hot, Hot Lab. Lab. Thanks for watching Hot Lap. Please subscribe so we get to make more cool shows. Also, thanks to the Mazda for providing us with our Hot Lap car. If you like this show, watch the other episodes. Check out Bruce's channel in the link below. And also check out this episode where I go and play video games with Bruce. If you want to see someone else on Hot Laps, tweet at them until they conform. Also, tweet at Applebee's till they sponsor us.